few things have harmed the Muslims and their belief about Islam, which are m more detrimental than this concept of believing in these literal fantastical mm. stories of people flying into the heavens Literalism. and living for, you know, hundreds of years. And mm. this has given so much material yes. to, to the, yeah. to the opponents of Islam. Raise their hopes. Right. And the <laughs> yes. beauty of Ahmadiyyat, which is the true Islam brought in this day and age by the promised Messiah and Mahdi is that if they take his understanding of Islam, which is the true Islam brought brought by the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where we don't believe in these fake, fantastical, mm. illogical stories, a Muslim can hold their head high with humble pride and tell people like Colin that this 12 minute video, which you have taken the pains to create, can be answered in one sentence, which is that we don't believe in these things yeah. as physical. Yeah. They are spiritual That's experiences. It. And the other it's answer is, is that. if they say winged horses, we'll say, Seven-headed red dragon. Jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a really important point. And I think it sets a good precedence to, I think, the audience as well to understand that, guys, research your faith as well. If you, if you have questions about this, whether these things happened in reality or spirituality or parables or metaphors, Please do research. Get in contact with us as well. If get they have any questions, they can of course send them. Well, I think they should get Whether in contact Whether they're about well. Christianity or Islam, True. we're, we're going to try and help as much as we can.